Hello guys, this is Nick from ForexForNoobs.com with my midday analysis. If you enjoy this analysis, please hit the like button below and hit the subscribe button below to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more analysis, webinars and awesome Forex education videos. Before I start, I want to tell you how my analysis works. Every Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday, I hold a live analysis session. In the analysis, I cover all the pairs I'm currently trading. This is usually 10 to 20 pairs and I do multi time frame analysis on those pairs. Multi time frame analysis means that I look at every time frame I have for each pair. I do not trade all of those time frames though. I use them for analysis. The only time frames I actually trade are the free 4, 6, 8, 12 and daily. The reason I do this is because price action is fluid. Price is always moving. If you look at a single time frame, you are seeing a single snapshot of price and that can be misleading. By looking at a lot of different time frames, you get more snapshots, which gives you a much clearer idea of what price is doing right now. This also ensures that I rarely miss a trade setup. I do my multi time frame analysis two to four times per day, so every four to eight hours. This ensures that I see almost every candle forming, which makes it hard to miss a setup. I only post my analysis to YouTube once per day though, as I cannot record every time I do my analysis. You should remember, I do not find trade setups every time I do analysis. Trade setups are not always there when you want them to be. If I do not find a trade setup in the midday analysis, I might find one in the next analysis I do later in the afternoon or the evening. Trade setups aren't always there when you want them and just because I'm doing analysis, it doesn't mean I'm gonna find a setup. Also, if I do find a setup, remember that these are just potential setups. Not every setup I find is actually going to turn into a trade. Many of these setups will never trigger or they'll just be cancelled. Just because I say that I'm considering entering a setup, it doesn't mean that the setup will actually trigger. But when they do trigger, I enter them and I post the updates to my blog which is linked to below. Finally, you may notice that I sometimes fast forward through parts of this analysis. I do this when I cannot find any setups on the pairs that I'm looking at. It saves you watching 5 minutes of me running through charts and saying there's no setup here. So I'll just fast forward through those boring parts. Anyway, enjoy the analysis. Today is Tuesday the 20th of September 2016 and the time is 11.17 a.m. here in the UK. So let's get started with the analysis. We're on the daily, we were on the daily. Hey DJPY, let's uh, drop down to some smaller time frames, see what's going on here. But right now it looks like this pair is simply stuck on an area of support. Even on the daily, it's stuck on that area of support. We're not really getting much movement. It's uh, it's pretty messy there. Uh, we could go up to something like the three day chart and would get like a nice indecision candle, but that upper wick is too high. Things are just too messy here. I'm not really interested in trading AUDJPY. We could feasibly pull this down to here, but would that be a logical move? Well, it doesn't matter up here or down there. It doesn't matter that much. The point is we are getting a stall here, okay, on your JPY. Price is stalling. Now, the problem with this one is the problem with a bounce that's, that's a little bit too low uh, is that this could potentially turn into resistance. So when price moves too low towards the bottom of a support area, that support area can become resistant. So you could get something like that happening. So I'm looking at this right now and I'm thinking, all right, there is some potential here. There might be potential for a long trade, but there's also potential that price is just going to treat this as resistance, bounce away and continue down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep a close eye on your JPY. I'm gonna see how this pans out. Um, I don't really see much chance of this turning into a viable trade, but if price does break the top here, I might consider entering. This is just going to be a wait and see type thing. We'll see how it plays out in the, you know, in the next day or two, because it's a daily chart. So we're going to need this candle to close the next candle to open and start pushing up. So there really is no rush here. We'll, we'll come back to this one in tomorrow's analysis and see, see what we think then. JPY. Um, 
not a pair I often trade. I must admit. But it's not a bad pair. Hmm. It's a bit choppy. A bit choppy on its way down. But what do we have here? Okay, so we have a decent proceeding trend. I wouldn't say a strong one. Decent proceeding trend heading into an area of support. And we have price stalling on support right now. Um, now... How much does this stalling mean? Probably not that much. I mean, it was stalling all the way down, really. But, you know, it is stalling on support. Last two times it did this, it did bounce away uh, here too. So it, it's going for its third attempt. It, uh, it very well might bounce away. Uh, let's see how this one plays out. I'll, I'll keep a close eye on it. I'm not too excited about this, uh, this setup here. Um, Cat JPY is definitely not a pair that I, I trade often. It's worth keeping an eye on, but yeah, let's not get too excited about about a long trade there. All right, let's look at Euro AUD. What's Euro AUD doing? Uh, I'm gonna drop down straight to the free hour. All right, I dropped down to the free hour to see if price was gonna be stalling up here, but it's not quite stalling yet. It is hitting a significant area of resistance though. Um, th this is a strong area of resistance, a very strong area of resistance. Uh, price, last time it came up here, bounced away. And you know the other important, important thing about this resistance area is that it's a high that we haven't really seen since 2013. Last time price was in these areas was 2013. Then post Brexit, when price pushed up, uh, Euro made an attempt to get through this area and it came tumbling back down. Now it's gonna make that second attempt. And it's very, very possible that this resistance area is gonna hold, hold well and the Euro is gonna fall back down. Um, it's not a sure thing, obviously, nothing is, but it is very possible that, that we're gonna see some indecision forming here. And price is going to tumble back down. Uh, so, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna be keeping a close eye on this one. This one is actually there's actually a lot of potential here. Uh, I'm gonna be watching it across most time frames, but I think I'll be focusing on the high ones, the 12 hour and the daily. All right. So, what am I looking for here exactly on the 12 hour and the daily? Uh, I'm looking for signs that price is stalling in this area. So last time price pushed up to here, it uh, took a little while to stall, but it did stall up here. So we got this kind of stall over the course of a few days. It, it didn't drop down straight away, but uh, it did stall here over the course of a few days. Uh, and it led to a pretty big reversal. So I'm looking for a similar thing here. Ideally, uh, I'd want, I don't want it to stall as long as it did here. It'd be cool if it just stalled for one or two candles and then started pushing down. But, you know, we do have a lot of potential for a, for a strong reversal setup here. Um, especially at a high like this, you know, the, there there is a lot of potential for a strong reversal setup here. Uh, yeah, EuroGVP definitely seems like one of the stronger setups for today. It's, uh, it's definitely worth keeping an eye on. But that being said, um, you know, it might not stall today. So I'm gonna keep an eye on it on on the lower time frames and the higher time frames. But it might not stall today. It might not it might not start stalling here properly uh on the lower time frames. Um it, it might we might get good indecision or a good setup forming on the daily or the twelve hour. So we might not even be looking at this setup until I don't know, uh Wednesday, Thursday. So we'll just see how how it plays out. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, then give it a thumbs up below. If you have any questions regarding this video, then leave a comment below and I'll respond to it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get notified as soon as I upload my videos. My Facebook and Twitter are in the description below. Thanks again for watching and happy trading.